it is seen after abiding the nature again backs backfires with full force demanding again too much involvement and overtakes can it be considered as ignorance sleep seeping in yes so very good question there just like i said we can continue the discussion that nature overpowers this individual there is no individual there is no will but we can forget about these things because totally practical issues here so the nature will put put you to sleep that is that is what you are calling is backfire and the stronger the desires are the pending desires if they are very strong the sleep will be more frequent and will be deeper and once this all this is settled when the dust is settled you wake up again oh, what happened there I, i forgot to be in knowledge now my guru is going to be very angry i wasted my two years and so on but by the time nature has done her job whatever was pending so to avoid this kind of extremes what do we do i mean i have told this many many times fulfill your desires think that they are my desires and fulfill fully knowing they are not mine and i don't have any control over the fruits of these desires so it will not backfire that much it is like uh, steam engine you see or you can say pressure cooker if you let out the steam time to time it is not going to cause uh, explosion of ignorance there will be ups and downs which is very very normal we have no we we, we are not that stubborn that you know i want awareness 24 by 7 non stop otherwise i'll do something bad to the nature no <laughs> it's not possible that is ignorance again it settles down on its own on the one hand you have the body mind full of desires on the other hand you have the experiencer neutral peaceful blissful has nothing now extremes is to be avoided both should happen with tiny amount of you know the pressure builds up you neutralize it somehow and the mother nature will let you kindly to remain in awareness isn't it we have this delusion this creature has this delusion that i can command awareness no it comes automatically <laughs> and it goes automatically the abiding even that is not in our hands our means this illusory individual does not do anything so that should be understood and then you remain peaceful instead of you know waging a war with the nature it's not possible to win actually so always an agreement i have told this many times isn't it that if you find desire there it not it is not to be suppressed because there is nobody to suppress first of all and if the intellect has some kind of distortion it will try to suppress and then you know what happens especially if the means are provided it must be fulfilled that means its time has come it was destined to happen and then the fruits must be taken that also being in a pose of surrender at least you have little bit of control over the actions and desires but you don't have any control over the fruits and that should be a major question instead of what should i do when the abiding stops automatically how can i stop the ignorance from coming back these questions are childish the big question is can i avoid the fruit of my actions when this happens and the answer is no they also must be surrendered it is they are not my fruits you see this abiding should be there at the time also because nature will do its thing you see ultimately it wins and if you forget to be in awareness when the fruits are coming that is very bad there nature is not saying that you don't abide there the nature is not clouding your vision now so you have full freedom to observe the fruits knowing fully that they are not mine and the actions that happened in darkness were also not mine you see the awareness is independent of time you can clear that accumulation that happened in darkness in the time of light it's possible this is called repenting in <laughs> some of the traditions repent or oh, it was an error and so on but uh, we don't call it like this we say forgiveness forgive yourself because it is not you who is doing it shama bhav sakshi bhav they should be together so if you fail to be in awareness at the time of action at least you should be aware during the time of fruits so it is not the actions that are painful it is the fruit it is not the action that binds you it is the fruit that binds you especially if it is positive the bondage is complete perfect if it is negative there will be a reason to detach but if it is positive you are gone like a fly on the fly trap 
it is sweet some kind of sticky sugary thing <laughs> the fly wants it but it's trapped so the suffering is a blessing in disguise it frees us but the happiness traps us so all these fruits should be seen equally while being in awareness and they should should be seen as not mine and that brings the equanimity automatically as long as you consider the fr- fruits as yours action is not mine i am not responsible but the fruit is mine <laughs> so that is a big problem then that means the ignorance has not really gone you are still in the night time the day has not started for you so we should avoid the extremes so that the fruits are not extreme that much can be done you see any intelligent person will do that it is like if you are very hungry you overeat and then that is not pleasant and the the hunger extreme hunger was also painful and this overeating that happened also painful to avoid these things what do we do keep eating little bit bite by bite prati bhi saying so probably the question is uh, can can the and guess of the person about uh, the seeker can, can it go wrong so you see it is best to simply ask the seeker what is his problem and not rely upon supernatural stuff It's highly unreliable you see it can be used as a assistant but not not as a diagnosis highly unreliable instead of touching that person <laughs> simply ask him what is the problem where he is stuck what is his desire and it will be very easy i i always do that even though sometimes you will come to know some things but uh, we still don't use them as final evidence your direct experience is your evidence yes if the fellow says that i don't know what i want then it is the job of the teacher to guide it is not the job of the teacher to give him a want that will be burden okay carry my wish on your head no 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 the job of the teacher is to guide if if there is no want then obviously he is in the wrong place the desire for spirituality has not is not present there and without this desire nobody can do anything you see we cannot simply um, assign him a desire look this desire is the best for you go on the path of knowledge study everything and you will see the results are not so good the person <laughs> will not stay there for long so all that can be done is you know try to bring a little bit of curiosity try to show their ignorance look you have this kind of ignorance but i cannot do much you need to find your guru you need to find your path and let him wander here and there explore some things and once the desire is there then they can be put to work they can be given the work which is simply to remove the ignorance you see on this path find out the ignorance find out your assumptions and superstitions and whatever remove them become pure this is what they should want but they don't know <laughs> just like i said the darkness is complete the ignorant person does not know how much ignorance there is and that is why there are other paths you see besides the direct path why are there other paths and this is the reason people don't know what they want so they keep looking here and there even if the guru is sitting in front of them and telling them the truth they will always find a excuse to do something else because the ignorance is complete yes it's very mm, useful to send that person to any other path you know where he can find a meaning a purpose a goal mohan is asking i see that most of my actions are driven by desires want for something i have noticed that without desire i mostly end up in inaction can there be any action without desire no there cannot be any action without desire you see desire is the motivating force in the universe it is also called the will will of the universe so whatever whatever you are thinking is my actions not your actions and whatever you are thinking is my desires it's not your desire so if they if they are not there no action will happen which is perfectly okay it's not our problem then if there is a desire action will happen not my my problem it's not mine witness it witness the action and witness the inaction because both are impermanent they do not last and many people will say inaction is also action because you have decided to not do anything there the desire is don't do any of your usual things sit quietly is the desire you see the desire cannot be avoided there is never a time when there is no desire it's never a time 
you must be thinking today i have done a lot of work lot of action now it's time to relax and sleep for 8 hours you know that is the desire then the desire is to sleep and relax and that is what will happen that is the action whatever you are thinking as procrastination is simply a resistance to whatever impression has are stored in the mind you know there is an internal fight there the impressions are telling you to not do anything and probably there is a fear that i'll fail if i don't do anything or there will be bad time ahead if i don't do anything and so on or the intel intelligence it is fighting back so and that, that is not anything to do with desire or action that is a sign of darkness in you that is a sign of total ignorance somebody with knowledge is pretty much certain of what to do <laughs> if he wants in action there will be in action which is already in action isn't it but he will never twist it to mean as procrastination that means that a uh, distortion has happened in the mind that that means there is a internal tangle there because a person in the knowledge is very happy when there is nothing to do very happy and if there is work to do he is very happy that finally it will get done there is desire now so the one in the bliss will find the bliss in everything and the one in ignorance has nothing but suffering he will is going to suffer the action he is going to suffer the inaction that is guaranteed rajat is saying how can we go beyond time what is karma in gyan the experiencer is already beyond time and the creature cannot go beyond time it is it it operates in time and what is karma in gyan mark it is simply storage of a memory whatever actions are done they are stored in the memory that's all it is paramjit is saying i actually interact with mother nature very good there is no creature here which does not interact with mother nature if you are breathing you are interacting with nature only if you are eating nature only your whole life is natural only and you are the nature also probably you are thinking that by nature i mean the green plants and waterfalls <laughs> hills and mountains no i don't mean that everything is nature only and everybody is interacting with nature there is nobody nothing special yes it is all the illusion and those who are interacting with it they are also illusions so what helps on the path of knowledge is interacting with the guru which is also nature but a different kind of nature nothing else will help you and those who have guru they don't need anything else no need of nature you can remain in city you can uh, you know whatever is your definition of nature completely forget it follow the instructions that will be helpful on the path of knowledge how do i know i did the same thing you see rajit is asking how non living thing and living being related to each other they are different layers of the mind or we say they are different layers of the memory the non living is the bottom layer and the living thing when it assembles into complex structure we call it living it is the higher layer so all mind rajat is asking how can i know secrets of nature see there are no secrets the one who is on the right path there are no secrets it is all open we know everything on the path of knowledge nothing is left a secret those who have eyes they can see everything suraj is saying I think there is certain change in my intellect because thinking patterns are hugely changed there is will to express what is known and I sometimes I rarely express with friends and later I realized that it was not favorable to do that how to control this actually this tendency is very good the only your audience is not well equipped to handle what you know so my suggestion is start directing your will towards those who really need it is that it there is no need to control it like you have access money and you want to give it isn't it very good thing you want to donate the money now don't give it to those who don't need it give it to the beggars give it to the poor people those who have talent but but no money no opportunity they should be helped first which means those who are worthy they should be given so what is my suggestion you finish the program step number 7 you contact me again i'll tell you where to direct this energy that you have because i know this is natural when the bowl is full it starts spilling it's very natural so what do we do we channel it towards those who need it that is the only way 
choose your audience very carefully and uh, mean, meanwhile there is another good idea that we have this group now and there are many more groups so whenever you get the urge to discuss something spiritual you come in the group and discuss in our pure experiences group or some other group here everybody will welcome you in the world worldly people don't like these things 